Hey, listen, um, real quick, we did just bang together a real quick agenda. Let me tell you how things are going to flow to minimize everybody's stress. All right, what we're going to do, I, wanna, I want to uh, recognize our special guest. First of all, uh, Commissioner Tom Sanders is here, and then the Waste Manager, Kent Weiss. Okay, and then uh, also, did Sheriff Harlan Moore make it? I'm here. You're here. Good, 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 good. What we're going to do is we're going to have... Um, we're going to have each of uh, we're going to have each of our folks speak first because what they say might answer a lot of questions. It will alleviate the need to ask the same questions, which they can address. All right, um, and we're going to have um, we're going to have the uh, commissioner talk first, and then after that we're going to have um, we're going to have Kent Vice talk, and then after that sheriff, if you could just take a minute and talk about illegal dumping, you know the fines associated with that. That would be so important for our rent because we've already seen trash along the roadways and stuff. We want to keep seeing it. Beautiful, all right? Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to ask uh, Tom Sanders to come, and I've asked him to speak about maybe the 1988 levy disposition, the origin, and the execution of the change in the trash disposal. Also, the purpose of the change, the legalities of the change, as opposed to the, the, uh, half cent, the half cent sales tax. So we're going to do our best to be heard, okay? So we're going to have uh, our commissioner come at this time. Sir? Thank you. Okay, thank you for coming out. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry that you had to come out uh, to talk about the issue that, that has arisen with the green boxes. Uh, I think you're going to find that uh, uh, they jumped the gun a little bit on, on making the transition. and it, it, it's, uh, What we're trying to do is a little damage control. What we want to do, and, and what I want to convey to you tonight, as a commissioner, my responsibility for the solid waste part is no more than appointing a, a, a board member to the trust authority. Yeah, and, he's, and he's here tonight. Howard, Howard's sitting, is right back here. Howard is our District 2 representative on the trust authority board. Uh, it is a public trust and uh, has been working since 1994. Uh, what we want to do this evening, we want to make sure you understand why we're here. We're here to deal with, uh, specifically with the solid waste plan for removing the green boxes and going to convenience centers, and that's basically the, the <coughs> topics we're going to be dealing with. And then we want to answer all of the questions that we can, uh, uh, as best we can, and try to make sure that we give everybody an opportunity to address whatever they would like concerning the green boxes. First of all, just so that we have a base to go from, uh, in 1988, Delaware County passed a, a half cent sales tax and I'm just going to read it to you it says the resolution of the Board of County Commissioners relating to levying a permanent excise tax of one half of one percent upon the gross proceeds or gross receipts uh, derived from all sales and services in the county upon which a consumer sales tax is levied by the Oklahoma State Tax Code yada yada uh, said revenue is to be deposited in the general revenue fund of the county to be used only for the acquisition, establishment, and operation of solid waste services for the people of Delaware County. So that is what we passed in 1988. How much is that per year? Oh, it depends on the year. But, uh, okay, let's hold our questions to the no, end. How about okay? we deal with things as we go? We, we need yeah, to hold well, our uh, We would sure like to hear the rug. How about, how about if we give you the information? Hey, guys, listen. I know we're all mad, okay? The deal is we got to calm down and listen to what they got to say, and then we'll ask the question. If we do it right now, we're this, this we're turns, listening. yeah, this turns into a riot. Okay. <laughs> now, we aren't, we aren't going to have any riot. Uh, we, are, we will answer your questions. Give us time to give you the basic information, and that'll give you, maybe that'll answer some of those questions. Uh, in 88, we passed the sales tax. I have a half cent. Uh, today, that half cent brings in probably uh, close to $100,000 a month, maybe. 100 to 150. 100 to 150, depending on the month, and it depends on your sales tax collections. Uh, that went on until 1994, at which time in 1994 uh, we set up a solid waste trust authority trust indenture. And we did that so that we would have somebody managing that whole system, somebody planning. Uh, as things evolved, as, as things changed, we had people on that board to oversee the governance and uh, the operation of the Solid Waste Division. Now, 
uh, Kent Weiss is here, and Kent has been hired as the manager of that solid waste uh, operation. So uh, basically, we passed the half cent sales tax in 88, changed to a trust authority in 1994. Uh, three member board, uh, District 1, uh, Kenny Crowder, uh, past commissioner in District 1, is the uh, representative for District 1, Howard Sitton from District 2, and David. Uh, Kendrick. Kendrick. Uh, Kendrick, I'm sorry. David Kendrick, he was the commissioner in District 3. Those three people make up the Trust Authority Board. Okay, now the situation tonight, obviously everybody knows what happened. You woke up one morning, went out to dump your trash, and there's no green boxes there. I'm just going to tell you a little story. I happened to be right here that morning. Uh, we were coming out to look at some loads. Pulled up to the site here, and I said, well, I just got a call on those green boxes yesterday. I was with my road foreman. I said, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So we go on down the road, and we go turn to go to Four Corners, and we get there, and there's no green boxes. I said, man, I don't know what's going on, but I'm, my phone's going to start ringing. And I hadn't even more than said that, and my phone just blew up. I mean, I've, I've been answering calls since then, which is okay. I don't mind answering the call. The problem is the transition was what it was. It, it, it just wasn't good. We had no signage telling you where to go. I had people upset mainly because they didn't know what to do with their trash. So the rollout of, of their program was not as good as it should have been, period. Okay, And I think that Kent will admit that, and he'll be the first one to admit that. But they do have a program that they've been working on for some time. Uh, as we evolved with the green boxes, we started with green boxes all over the county. They condensed those down to fewer sites so that they could be more manageable. The original plan was to be rid of all of the green boxes by 2000, somewhere in that neighborhood, 1999 or 2000 and have convenience centers set up. It just didn't work. We just didn't, for some reason, we just never did get there. So now we're at 2016. Uh, Kent has taken over, has been there for a year or so now, a little over, doing a really good job of, of managing the system. Uh, and we are going to be moving to uh, convenience sites. So. I can't answer your specific questions, but I'll, I'll help try to moderate, and if I can uh, help in any other way, I will. I'm going to turn this over to Kent, and then if Howard needs to jump in and answer any questions, he'll be available too. So, and we'll and we'll stay around here until the last dog dies. So, uh, we'll we'll be here until you're until you're through. So, I'm going to have Kent, vice manager of solid waste, uh, take it from here. before Kent starts, and I apologize, I'm trying not to alienate, so who, on the authority, who do they report to? I mean, you said the you people. appointed, but you have no other concern. Is that true? Or yes, not? a public a public trust is... So who do they report to? You, the people. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Basically, that's, that's what it amounts to. They are managing your tax dollars, and, and they are basically uh, reporting to you. Now, the commissioners, we can appoint, appoint other board members if they decide not to serve, or if we end up with an opening, then we appoint them. Do you have the authority to remove them? I suppose we do. Okay. Do you? I'm not going to move any, no. I'm not moving mine. I said, do you have the authority to do that? Sure. Yeah. So they report yep, to, to you back. In the They don't county. report to me, no. Oh, okay. Okay, is there any, can uh, everybody hear me all right? Maybe a little better if I don't use the microphone? No, no. Okay, you can hear me? Yeah. All right. As, uh, as you probably know just from the introduction, my name's Kent Weiss. I'm the general manager of Delaware County Solid Waste. Uh, I took that position about 17, 18 months ago. During that time, uh, I guess I'd just like to, I'd like to start this evening first by offering my apology for the uh, problems with the rollout of this situation. Uh, I've often found that sometimes it's just real easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day business and not realize that the true or the actual nature of what's going to go on 
until I sat back and I uh, realized that my paper signs that I had designed to put up at the sites uh, happened to blow away about 10 minutes after I set them up that day. And, and uh, I had to go out and get some more signs made and it was a little, uh, it took me a little time to get that there. I do want to offer my sincere apologies for the oversight of this rollout. Uh, however, as Tom mentioned to you, solid waste is run uh, by a trust authority. I answer directly to that uh, trust uh, board of three members. Sir, I got a question. What happened to the fellow before you? <laughs> he retired. Uh, my first day on the job was June 16th the 14th. He retired uh, officially June 30th. He retired 14. after embezzlement, right? Yeah, we, we aren't going to get into the, to that point. <laughs> we need to. I, I really think, you know, as far as uh, the previous manager, uh, that just really shouldn't be a topic of discussion tonight. He had no part of this decision. I can tell you, Tom gave you a date, 1994, when the trust was set up. Now, I don't know why it was set up, but I can assure you it was set up at the, with the cooperation of the district attorney uh, that probably did all the language of it, to set that out there to have someone to run solid waste. Also in 1994, they opened the first convenience center, or should I say they started construction of the first convenience center in Delaware County, and uh, it was considered to be a pilot program. What we've done here, while it may cause inconvenience, uh, this is actually our sixth uh, convenience center that we constructed in Jay that will be servicing this area. Uh, that Zena Mall was our convenience center. Where did it go? Go ahead and tell them where, we're where the sites are. Miles and then it turns out to be a 38 mile trip. That's not too convenient. <laughs> you took our convenience center they, they away. Go ahead and tell, tell them about the convenience center. Go ahead. I can tell you uh, that we have a convenience center. Uh, some of you may be familiar with it, maybe not. Uh, we call it, it's at, at Northeast, it's at the Industrial Park in the area east of Grove at the airport. There's another, another convenience center uh, that is uh, west of Tomcat Corner. There's a convenience center at Cleora. Uh, our main office is considered a convenience center. We have a south transfer station, which is about a mile north of the Highway 116-59 junction down towards Colcord. And we have the newly constructed convenience center in Jay. What we're doing, uh, <clears throat> The initial, the initial plan was to uh, rid the county of all unmanned cans. And that is the goal and the objective of solid waste. To do that and to still serve the county, we have to have man sites. I can tell you these are a real expensive site to set up. They're a guaranteed monthly cost to run them. Uh, to date, we do not have one that will finance itself. Uh, we, uh, I assume the, the finances are probably part of why, the, uh, why it didn't get done before on the timeline. Uh, the finances were in pretty rough shape when I took over. We are financially healthy today and uh, we saw the need to just try and correct the problems that I believe everybody would have to agree with me that we have at the dumpster sites. There's the illegal dumping, there's dumping of illegal materials, there's dumping of uh, dangerous materials. All that stuff they there are there, people. Dump out there on the side of the road like the there are people dumping that aren't supposed to be dumping. Still going to. They're still here. <laughs> As we're going along and we're progressing along and advancing this program, uh, people, we have a uh, solid waste. Uh, again, it's funded by the sales tax. The sales tax does not cover the expense of the operation of solid waste. It's just not there. It's every month the expenditures are more than the sales tax. Whoa, whoa. Every single month. So let me make now, sure. wait a minute. Let me finish let me what we're finish, going. I'll, I'll argue any figures you want to talk. Where we're at, uh, we want the people served. We have 
duplicated an already proven program in the north end of this county. It's a proven fact what we just did by creating this convenience center allows us to handle the trash more appropriately, keep the county cleaner, and those are the two main objectives that we have. Clean all the county roads now. I beg you to go north of Honey Creek Bridge. Look at the system. It has already proven itself to be effective. There has not been a, a unmanned trash can north of Honey Creek Bridge. Actually, there's not been one north of here since uh, 2010. And they've. Pardon me. Are we going to have a convenience center down here? Not in this area, no. Well, it ain't very damn convenient. It may not be convenient. I assure you, my daughter. Uh, has to travel 18 miles to get to the new convenience center. Okay? I'm, no, sir. I, I am trying to explain why we've done something. You're just absolutely lying to us. I'm not lying to you. Yeah, you are. Well, first, first of all, there, what, what Kent is trying to give you is the plan that they had designed to try to do this. Now, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean it's written in stone. That doesn't mean you won't have a convenience center closer to you. As things, as, as, as things, okay, and that, and that's, that is, I'm going to tell you that that's being discussed, okay, to put some, to put some temporarily back. Now, eventually they will they will end up coming out and we'll be going to convenience centers. But we need to make sure the convenience centers are convenient, both in location and time. I know I know it's not right now, okay. All right, let it. Let's let Kent. Let's let Kent finish talking about his program, and then we'll take your questions. Okay. Let's wait until we get through with the explanation. Okay. Once again, I apologize to you if I'm not able to express to you the exact plans. This plan was put in place in 1994. We have the board, uh, along with my recommendation, has considered and agreed to follow the plan that was initially put in place. This just happened to be the area. Yes, ma'am, it is. Or I apologize, I'm not sure if that's man or woman. I can tell you, I've, I, in the 18 months that I've been at Delaware County Solid Waste, we have a board meeting every two weeks. Somewhere there about, every once in a while, it's three weeks between. Until uh, this last Monday, at what time I had 20 people show up and we discussed the issue. I can tell you before that, uh, we only had one member of the public come to a meeting before that. He's here tonight, and I'm not going to mention his name, but he was one of the originators uh, of solid waste. And I can tell you, his intent and his whole purpose to be at our meeting was to discuss and relay his feelings to our board that Delaware County needed to be converted to the convenience center program and the unmanned cans disposed of. This is one of the originators of this plan well, of solid waste. The tax, what was the plan then? Pardon me? What, when you originated the tax, what was the plan then? He read the ballot to you. That's exactly what you voted yeah, on. So, so why are we changing it? We have to change operations almost on a daily basis. Well, let, me, let me ask you a question. Okay. Why do we hear you? One, one at a time, one at a time. So, so two and a half years ago, regardless of the management, whoever the management was, which I consider Howard part of, yeah. and the rest of the board, and I quote from the manager of the solid waste, day to day, your job. 1989, the green boxes were created to serve non-incorporated areas, and we started off with collections of 15 to 18 tons per day. Now it's up to 150. Burroughs said that he manages 32 green boxes, and that's the way he's going to do it. Now. Do you think two and a half years ago, if there was a master plan, somebody should not have said something about that? I, sir, I don't have any idea, but the documents well, are in my office that prove it was discussed as a pilot in 1994. 
I have the documents in my office. I apologize. Well, I don't okay. have them with me. Now, do not it. think something could have been communicated in... I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. Do not think something could have been communicated from 2000 in some kind of notice? I, I can't answer for anything before 2014. I apologize. Okay, so you're just gonna... From 2014 to now, you couldn't have communicated. Well, yeah, we had... Number one, who created a board? We didn't vote for a board. We didn't vote for an autonomous board. The, the Board of County the Commissioners. Country. The governor runs the state. The county commissioners run this dead gum county. If you can't run the board, then you need to resign. <laughs> At some point in time, I can tell you that the uh, the trust indenture was created and authorized by the Board of County Commissioners uh... with the involvement of the district attorney who is the legal advisor for the board of county commissioners at that time but they were the county commissioners correct pardon me <coughs> they were the county commissioners right so the county commissioners made that decision yes current at that point yes sir and some of them uh... served the remainder of their term and uh, no sir no they're no Absolutely. There was there was never a plan voted on. There was never a green box plan voted on. That was a operational procedure that was put in place. The management stated it. And who's responsible? Sir, there's a whole lot of things the previous manager did I can't account for. You just you're referring to a, a letter that he You want made. to talk about the board member? But I'd like to talk about what we have to do to get our dumpsters back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. For, first of all, the commissioners back at that point were Howard Payton, Delmer Harmon, and Bruce Poindexter. Okay. So they're they're the commissioners. Bruce Poindexter from District One, uh, Howard Payton from District Two, and Delmer Harmon from District Three. That was back in 1994. Now. My, my thought is that I think they were trying to look ahead. They were trying to be visionary. They were trying to see what can we do to manage this as best we can. And, and it is an evolutionary process. I mean, it's, it, there's things that will change, and if you've run a business of any kind, you're going to know that on a daily basis you've got to make some decisions that maybe change the direction you're going, so, uh, depending on so what you do. You so, so, okay, you ask, about, you ask about the possibility of green boxes. Let me just address that for you real quick. Uh, I have talked to Howard. Howard said that he is willing to go back and, and bring that topic of discussion up with their board. That will be on Monday. A week from Monday. A week from next Monday. So okay. then, then, and you're welcome to go to that board meeting. Yeah, no, open, open meeting. Go to a board meeting. You need, to have the, you need to have the board meetings at a time where the people, people can go. Right. Well, right. Right. They, they have their board meeting. It's just like the board of commissioners. No, we have not. it at 9 no. o'clock on Monday morning, something. every Monday morning. I'm not morning. a rookie here. I was the city planner for the city of Catoosa. Okay. I'm a former congressional aide. I'm a former aide to Senator Gene Howard. I know that appointed boards have meetings when working people can come to them in the evenings. Right. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be, not at 9 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, unless there, unless there is an issue like the green box is being moved on you in the middle of the night. Wake up, uh, there is. Yeah, there is. they <laughs> normally don't have anybody show up at their meetings. So uh, normally, it's, it, normally it's conducting business on a daily basis. This, this is very unfortunate that, that it's happened this way. It, it's where we are right now. We have to solve some problems. What I would suggest, if I could do that, is Monday morning, two weeks from, well, be a week from next Monday. If you can have a representative there, you're welcome to come and talk to that board. And they will be glad to open up the topic of what to do, on a, at least on a temporary basis, until we get more convenience centers located or until we try to resolve the problem. Yes, ma'am. I would like to know why you are not going to have the meeting with the people here, right here in our community. So right. You guys come to us in the evening so everyone here can come and hear your reason why you're doing the thing that we can't live with. Okay, I can't. cannot travel that many miles for trash. Okay, It'd I... be absolutely like making a trip to Grove 
usually my husband, maybe we might make one one a, a week at the most to grow to do something. Okay. And, and we have, I have like two trashes. Okay. And I and I'm sure the board will be willing to hear that. And I and I know that's going to be an issue that's going to have yeah, to be dealt with. No one here can be there on a Monday morning. Well, I'm Why sure. Why don't you guys come to here? Well, they have in the evening. And they might do that for you. Uh, I don't know. I'm not on that board, so I can't tell you. Yes, ma'am. When you talk about change, I always thought change was supposed to be for the better. This seems like a change for the well, you're, you're right. You're right. Change should be for the better. And I, and I, and we have to give the system a chance to see if it'll be better. Yes, ma'am. There's a blue box in a smart Delaware County No, ma'am, that is a box that so is leased by that over. property. How come you won't let us you have one? Let us have one. They leased it. That, they leased it. That is a leased program through that store that was a lease of surplus equipment at the time the lease was entered into. And that's uh, actually that's happened in several places in the county. People, yes, sir. So here's the fundamental. Here's a fundamental question. The fundamental question is, you're doing this not to improve service. Absolutely say, wrong. Say, you are? <laughs> Sir. Comedy. <laughs> listen, now listen to me a minute. Wait, wait. Okay. Wait. Not to improve service, but to save on expense. And that ought to be explained, because if it isn't a budget issue, Sir, I assure you it's not a budget issue. All these people will spend, maybe there's 600, but there's 600 clients at least out here that will spend an extra five miles, and that's giving you the benefit of the doubt, and that's 3,000 miles a week, and that is cutting the hours of operation from 24 to 7, I mean 24 to 12. Is that not true? What you're saying hey, is true. Are you open 24 hours down there? No, sir. No. Okay. But I am. But this I am open seven days a week. I'm the only other I'm county entity other county. than the sheriff that serves Sorry. you seven days a week. Water department does. Oh, 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 oh. What question? Yes or no? Pardon me. Are you doing it to save expense? Absolutely not. Okay. It's not a financial concern. Okay. Now. It does improve service, and that's what you're... <laughs> sir, please. You're a joke, dude. Go look up north. It's a proven record. I want it back to where it's supposed to be. Yes, sir, and we have to serve 44,000 people, not just you. Let me tell you something. You haven't served me yet. Okay, please, if you would, hold, hold it down. We'll, we'll let you speak, but we don't need to be hollering at each other. So, Yes, sir. I come through a lane... Uh, I call up this Catfish Corner in Tijuana. How come Mays County still got dumpsters over there they use yeah. on our town? Mays County, those are well, those Mays stores. County operates different. I know. They're paying for uh, Mays is using ours, and we don't have any. Why? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me let me make let me make another comment about the convenience centers and about the, the transition. There, this is not written in stone. I mean, this is not something that we've said. Okay. No. Hey, let me ask you. There may be issues. Let me ask you. There may be issues. Let me ask There may be. I don't know, but I'm assuming that there there are going to be more convenience centers. They're going to be located in different parts of the county, and the number of them has not been determined. It's not set in stone. So. Uh, we would like for everything out here to be convenient. If we have to put one out here at some time, I say we, uh, the, the solid waste, and I can encourage that, and I can I can help work with that. But I, I, I don't really like cars. Pardon? I don't think you have a say so I don't. You you appoint. I don't. Other than other than than encouragement, they I do work with them, and they do listen. So yes. Sir. I've, I've got a question. If this is such a great idea. If, this, yeah, if your idea is such a great idea and it's working so hard, see all these people? Where, do you have as many to match it for you? 
Why, <coughs> why is your idea so good and so great that all these people don't agree with you? Mr. Mr. Duff, I would first address to you, this is not my idea. This is an idea that was started in 1994 to improve the quality of the trash collection in this county. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Again, I, I beg of you, the lady just made a mention of families from the Wyandotte and the Tri That is our county, too, in that general area, and they haven't had dumpsters since uh, 1994. No, they bring it to our convenience centers in, in Grove. It's close. calling her a liar? I know where... You just called that lady a liar. I am not saying... Not any more than you've called me, sir. This lady right here has been wanting to ask for it. Ma'am, it is simply to improve the program. It is proven. We have proven it. I'm trying to explain, but apparently some people don't want to hear that. You've asked a question. We are furthering a program. That was started in 94 as a, as a pilot program. If it had proven to not be better, it would have been discontinued. It's very verbal about the fact that it's a pilot program. But it is better. It better serves the residents of the county. It, it allows us to properly handle the trash that we have to collect. We're extending that program. Go ahead. Go ahead. Number two. Why were not all the dumpsters taken out from the other side of Delaware County? Ma'am, we can only... Uh, when we made the decision of where we were going to create a convenience center, we had an area that could be serviced by that convenience center, and only those cans were removed. And I've heard mentioned, yes, over here on this, in on out, outside of Zena, there are several dumpsters over there. Yes, absolutely. There was two, there was the two. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Believe me, I, I know exactly where the dumpsters were. We removed them intentionally to be served by this convenience center to allow for the proper disposition of, of trash. I don't think there's anyone here in this crowd that would tell me or would dare say that our green boxes were not being abused and illegal dumping was not happening. And it's going to happen on the road now. That was the prediction in the north end of this county when the other system was set in place. And it may be. Uh, I sir, the I, we don't have the ability to consult with 44,000 people at once. We don't. We're trying to best serve. Mr. Sanders. All right. Mr. Sanders. Okay. This lady's been wanting to ask a question. All right, hold, hold, hold on just, just a second here. She's been wanting to ask a question, Okay, which one? Right here? Let her ask a question. My husband and I live just, just a little ways from here. We travel 40 miles round trip to go to the nearest dumpster. And that's a heck of a lot of money in gas. Yes, it is. Ma'am, I understand we can't that. Afford to do that. I understand. He's saying about it's going to be dumped around the county. And I understand. We have never dumped anything around the county. I, um, I understand your concerns with that, but I also understand just a minute ago you said you go to town every week. If you go to a city, you realize how much if you go to a city from Zena, you're going to pass one of my places. So you're not having to go 40 miles to dump your trash. Yeah, go ahead. Here, right here. Let her finish right here. What are you doing? Okay, when I'm saying 40 miles, I haven't told you how much I have at least one big draft every day. Now, add that up. By the time I get, I'm actually doing seven, like seven things into there for once a week. Now, where yes, am I supposed to store that? <laughs> yeah. Ma'am, I, I, I apologize for any inconvenience that happens. I understand there's only five counties in the state of Oklahoma that offer any kind of county pickup. Delaware County has always been considered the A1 model for the entire state. Every other system is based off Delaware County's operation. The, the, nationally, the most nationally recognized program right now is Madison, Arkansas, and they absolutely do not have an unmanned trash can anywhere in their county. 
Sir, I apologize. Hang on just a second, please. He's been after me for just a second. Yes, please. Can, can, can anybody make a pledge, not a, a pledge that within a certain amount of time, service, since it's not set in stone, can be restored to the west side of 59 where most of us live? We can't make a pledge, no. but we will assure you that nothing is written in stone. Our, our, our whole intention for solid waste, believe me, there's not some mastermind plan to destroy solid waste. I'm retired from the state of Oklahoma. I took this job to make that better. I'm not up there to try and destroy it. So, well, you are, though. so Ken, what is your measurement of success? The constant economical collection of trash with the least amount of uh, illegal dumping as possible in this county. And any okay, we have, let's let let's lay you out here. Question. Okay, go right ahead. I work night shifts. I yeah. work 12 hour shifts. I'm asleep all day on the time y'all have the, the thing open. Yeah. I have piles of trash at my house waiting to go somewhere. I have to take it on probably my only day off. Yeah, to the convenience center. I don't think that's and, very convenient. Well, ma'am, the term convenience center, believe you me, I did not coin that phrase. That's right, but that's we not what we're talking we about. No, I didn't change it. That was, it has been called a convenience center since the first one of these was open. Can I talk now, sir? And, and I assure you, I'm we... I'm grab that mic. I just want to take the trash back of my truck up to the convenience center tomorrow. Okay, we get this lady right here is long Okay, talk. you have heard, Ken... How many people are not necessarily complaining about the convenience part of it, we're complaining about that the hours are terrible for this lifestyle of people. Do you understand? I can't do it either until the weekends. And so you need to make it because I go that way, but I don't. I go at 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay, ma'am. And I, then I come home at 6 o'clock. Let I, me finish. I'll go right Let ahead. Let me finish. You go right ahead. Thank you very much. And so... That's what we're asking. You need to say that you, you, even when we talk to you, say, well, I'm open, but the minute we suggest maybe better hours, and it's not the late hours. We need the morning hours as well as the late hours because I'm not taking my trash and leaving it in my car in the middle of summer and then come back and dump it. Okay? So, I mean, I don't think we're being unreasonable. Yes. Number one, oh, I'm not finished. <laughs> Here's the other thing. It's easier to ask forgiveness than to get permission. And the whole thing is, is I really feel like we all feel, now tell me if I'm wrong, people, that you guys just did this under the rug. You even told me that you were never going to tell us anything, which is ridiculous. Amen. And do not say that Amen. I did. Are you there? Did I, no, maybe not. Let's okay. see. And we're tired of 1994. I need to respond to her. We're 2016, not 94. That's what I'm saying, sir. They did not give it to me. Accountability. Okay, hold on here. Okay. I, as I started the meeting, I apologized for the notice. But I can tell you, I, I've talked to several people uh, throughout this. And I've been told it was run in the newspaper about four or five months. Well, we don't get the, pa we don't get the paper. Well, uh, I could put it on the radio. Well, we don't listen to the radio. Oh, my gosh, but we stop every day in our dumpsters, so why didn't you put it there? I mean, that is... Okay. I still have one more question. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So my point is, can you guys, at your next board meeting, decide a solution that would help us if you have to bring two dumpsters back in two... Howard, I'm just wanting you to listen. I'm listening. Okay, Real we're good. trying to be very positive. Sure. I mean, if you, but seriously, why could we not bring back, since you guys didn't give us notice. Not me. No, I'm serious. <laughs> but, it, well, but you're part of this. Well, and you are okay. an elected official, and sure. we're going to come to you in the end. That's anyway. why I'm here. That's why I'm here. But that's my point. So you have got to give us an interim solution until... Because we don't have your hours, we do not have, we don't have any way to get there. And so okay. it's just not fair. Let, let, let me address the, the convenience center deal here. Uh, when I first talked to Kent, and he'll tell you, when I first called him on the telephone the other day when I ran into the dumpsters being gone, 
I said, first of all, I, I'll, I'll help you try to get this going, but one, if you're going to have a convenience center, it's got to be convenient. It's got to be within a location where people can get to it, and it has to be times that people can get there. Now, again, that's not it's written not in stone. Board. That's that's just where they've started. Now, the board, and I know I just got through talking to Howard. Howard is willing to entertain the idea of at least a temporary positioning of some green boxes until they come up with a better solution. Now, I think he'll bring that up. I think, I think that he will bring that up at the next next trust authority meeting. So, uh, again, I would invite you to go to that if you want to go and, and have your say there. Can we say something about having been in the evenings instead of Well, yeah, times, times and locations I think will probably be discussed. Can we... Folks, my name is Randy Cloud. Thank you, Randy. You've been helpful. I live out on Summerfield Hollow. I'm a mutual fund manager. I've run a mutual fund and investment business for about 30 years. I'm kind of a numbers detailed person. I have submitted a, a list of document requests under the Open Records Act. I haven't gotten a response yet, but I have done a little bit of homework, and I want to share everybody what I know, and I'm going to go home because I'm tired of listening to this nonsense. I'm with you. They haven't published a budget within the guidelines of state statutes. Yes. We asked them about their audit at the board meeting last Monday because they're due for 2014. Y'all can hear me, right? Yeah. yeah. And they told me, we've given everything to the auditors. We're waiting on the auditors. Darn auditors are slow. Well, they didn't know I'd already called the auditors. <laughs> the auditors happened to call me back that afternoon. They said, no, we're not behind. They haven't given us everything. They haven't given it in the correct format. It hasn't been compiled by a competent entity. And we're not moving forward with the audit for 2014, let alone 2015. 2016 will be due in June, or June 30th. Now, for one, before they decide to reinvent the wheel and change everything and worry about building more stations, I think they ought to be able to account for the money from 2014. Exactly. And I think they shouldn't lie to us about the status of the audits. All right? Now, the other thing is, and this comes back to the county commissioners as well as the trash board. I did find audits going back to 2010. I read 2010, 2011, 2012. 12 it's, and 13 are it, good. It's fun stuff, let me tell you. In every one of them, there's something called a material deficiency notice. Right. And every year, the trash board has been warned. You have shoddy accounting. You have no separation of duties. You got one person doing everything with the money. You're ripe for fraud. Now we've had fraud. But every year, for five, six years, those, those warnings are in there. They have the same one-line response. We'll try to do better next year. It's a small entity. It's hard to get it right because it's so small. Oh yeah. I'll tell you what, I run $400 million with two guys. I've never had anybody like this complaining. And if you can't run it right when it's small, you'll never get it right when it's big. And commissioners, respectfully, I know I'm blindsiding you on this, but those audits should come upstream to you guys. And it is shameful, absolutely shameful to have public money coming in year after year and having an auditor warn you year after year after year shoddy accounting bad records incompetent accounting and no separation of duties and nobody ever does anything about it but yet you find the time to come break the system that was working now i got a bunch of other observations that i'll be happy to share with anybody to listen once i get my document request answered no telling when that'll be that's all I can say for fact right now. You're going to be on the organizing committee. Okay. Let me, you get a for office. Okay. No, let, me, yeah. let, me, let me just make a comment, Randy. I, what I can do is make sure that you get those audits, that we you do get them done. I will address the board, and I will address these people to make sure that their audits are complete, that they do get the information in. I wasn't aware that it wasn't. Uh, I have not seen any audit reports, but i I guarantee we'll be looking at them. Hey, Tommy, but, you're not seeing but we will, we will make sure that they get the audits complete. You should, you should be reviewing them. I run committees for a sure. living. Randy, I understand that. that. I understand that. I, I understand you what you're You ran you're a saying. business. Okay. All right. All your life. Who has a question? All right. He told me on the phone that the reason for this is because of illegal dumping, et cetera, et cetera, and there was going to be a manned station at the landfill. 
been there five times. I could have dumped paint, oil, anything I wanted in there. There's nobody oh, there. Sure. And if you say there is, you're a liar. I, I may have to ask, are you talking the main office? Yeah. Yes. 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 Are you talking after center? hours? Anybody here? No. I've been there three times without yeah. seeing a soul. Yeah, three times. 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 The dumpster specifically know there is employees on the property at all times. So that's the reason you were doing it. Yes, sir. I, I did, and we I monitor. I don't have to be in front of it to monitor. I watch it out my office window all day long. I assure you, there's probably somebody in this crowd that I've walked down to to tell them. They're putting the wrong stuff in there. I'd, I'd barely be surprised if there's not one. It is man, yes, sir. If those gates are unlocked, there are employees. I come through there seven to five any day. I assure you, there's a multi, a multiple employees. Ma'am, I apologize. I promised you to get back to you. Okay, I have two questions. One for the dumpster up there, store. County truck dumps it, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next one, I called Monday morning at 4 a dumpster with a private truck. I was going to take one. They told me. Okay, first of all, the, the, there should have been no response that no, we're not going to do it down in Zena. I can tell you right now, uh, I have no surplus equipment to rent. The cans that are out on rental programs are cans that became surplus in 2010 and were sitting on solid waste property until I took over Rusty. I repaired them because January of uh, 15, our uh, business, whole business operation changed drastically, and our income changed drastically. I had to utilize what we had available to try and make some income. I've done that, and uh, as of right now, I just don't have surplus cans. Until this is, situation is settled, as, as Howard has said, he's willing to discuss maybe the replacement of some green cans. I can't declare any property surplus now that would be available to rent to someone. We can't rent the ones you took? Not, not right now. I'm not willing to make the decision that they are surplus until we get this uh, issue settled a little more. I can tell you, folks, I apologize. I, I, I have a lot of my history from some of my board members. I can tell you this same scenario happened when the Grove, when this was done in Grove. There was a big uprising in the uh, Buffalo Shores area when they took their trash cans. The boards decided to send them back and left them for three weeks and then pulled them permanently after that once they realized it's a better system. I, I just beg for your patience. Okay, we can go ahead. Go ahead. Did you have a question? Yeah, I have several customers who live in Buffalo Shores and they load up their trash and take it to the Kansas J. That's where they were taking theirs. Uh, they may well have been bringing them up here. I, I don't have any idea, ma'am, but they, they have not had an unmanned can since 2010. What, where they're going with the trash, no, I can't definitely say. Yeah, do you really think that removing these cans is going to create a cleaner Delaware County out here? Sir, no. north of Honey Creek Bridge, it has proven no. its system. Yeah. And if, and if the dumpsters out here are such an inconvenience for you, and if it's and if you've got having a money problem, how much additional cost you is it to make these people happy by having all the dumpsters returned? How much more a month is it going to cost you to service the dumpsters like we want? I, the cost factor in my mind, honestly, sir, I can't tell you. It's not. Well, then, how about it's one way or the other. The problem is the illegal dumping, the contractors that use these for their own dusting. The only thing that's supposed to have been free dumping in this county was bagged household trash. So that's not what this says. So, so, so because from the former management. Because if you're talking people, about a letter, I don't think a letter has any legal binding authority. Where do you think the legal dumping is going to go? Where do you think the illegal dumping is going to go? We hope supported that the people the will be responsible and go to our convenience centers. Can't, you, can't, you, can't, you, can't you just accept the can't you accept the illegal dumping and the people putting the trash and making it messy? Can't you just accept that as part of your job responsibility? Did you not?
We, we, we hear, we hear what you're saying, and that will be taken to the board, model. and they will discuss yeah, that very thing. So it's not something he can make a decision about, or I can, but the board can. So if you want to take that to the board, I'm sure they'll be listening to it. Yes, ma'am. One more time. Go ahead. What do we do with illegal dumplings? I showed up at work. Someone neatly took their trash in our parking lot. Sheriff showed up and just hauled it off for free. Okay. Okay. Somebody I else had a solution a, for you, ma'am. Uh, you had yeah. a lot of. Let's let's let some of these go. I'm sorry. Do what now? Sir, I don't believe I ever said they were so costly, and I just explained to him there's not a cost saving measure being considered in this decision. It's the betterment of the program as a whole to serve the entirety of Delaware County. Okay, okay. this lady, this lady, this lady, this lady this had her smile here a week. Hold on. This lady's had her hand up for about an hour. Go ahead. We said we'd talk about times and Sir, locations. I, the, the, but as when lady, we asked him about it, he just well, flatly... No, no, I apologize. You did not, she did not get an answer. I agree with you, and I apologize. I didn't mean to skirt that. We just went to somebody else. Where'd this lady go that asked about the hour? Uh, about, well, sir, he's asking for an answer first. Let me give him an answer, and then I'll ask, let somebody else talk. Ma'am, uh, the hours... We're open to consider anything. I can tell you when I took it over in June, some facilities opened at 8 o'clock, some facilities opened at 9 o'clock, some closed at 4, some closed at 5. I expanded solid waste service hours to all facilities to 7 to 5, 7 days a week. Is that a cure for everybody's time? No. Can we look at something else? Maybe, but I can tell you, I cannot afford 24 hour a day okay, trash. Seven to seven sounds okay, real good. Okay, hold, hold on. And, guy, and I can consider that. Let's go right here. He's had his hand up. Uh, for really. some reason, oh. something doesn't make sense to me. Of course, most of this does. Doesn't. I'd like, is there a law that your board has to meet at the county courthouse or wherever they meet? Oh. <laughs> All right. How many are on the board and how many are, uh, how many people are in that meeting? Have to come to that meeting. Generally, there's three. Three board members. There's three board members. It would make two. a lot more sense three to come here than 200 to go there since this uh, meeting is useless, apparently. Well, well when, when, when they have, when they have. It makes a lot more sense to move three people rather than 200 people. A week from tonight. That's true, I could. No, I can't. A week from tonight. I can't. I don't go by it. Okay, now, the, their board, as well as the commissioners, turn in a regular meeting schedule every Thank year. You. Well, you can have a special meeting. You can have a special meeting, but you can't change the ones that you've already turned in. You can have a special meeting. Now, most of the meetings, elite commissioners' meetings, and I'm sure the solid waste is probably even more boring than ours are, uh, some of them don't, don't deal with things that you even want to hear about. This happens to be a big issue, and yes, I, I agree. 200 versus 3 is a not... I agree they, they did a poor job of rolling this thing out and we giving you information now. We don't care what you did before. I, well, and that's what I'm saying. They we need to they need, 
That's why we're here tonight. Oh, oh you're you not. Help us fix it. Well, we yes, permanent you know, we're yeah. still paying the same permanent tax access. dollars that we were paying in the beginning of this thing. You've already said it's not a budgetary issue. Put our damn dumpsters back. Okay, we, you look we, around we hear and it will solve the problem. Okay, we hear yeah, your request. We hear your request. Yeah, hear your request. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is only a small portion of the people in the St. area. Sure. We've got weekenders that come. Yeah. You know where their trash is going to end up? Yeah. The ditches. Okay, we, we hear that. We hear you. We really do. It will be taken up. Howard, we confirm that. You will take that up at the next board meeting. Put it on your agenda. Yeah, and I wish, I wish the other two board members were here. Okay, they can't be here. They, they, they can't be here. They'd be in violation of the open meeting. The ones south are going to feel the same way. What you guys think is going to do it to them? Yes, sir. Okay, Tom. Uh, if we take out... Hold, hold on a minute. Right here. they will be able to satisfy your needs. Now, whether that's temporary green boxes until they figure out a better solution yeah. or be able to give you direct sites where they're going to put convenience centers, you know, but that's going to have to be worked out. That's why we're here tonight. So, Tom, I have two things. Two things. One, I have two things. Hold on. Let her ask her question. One, somebody already mentioned it, but for us it's one issue. We have a lot of vacation in Sri Lanka. To get to Pine Island, for one, you have to drive by my house. So, who's going to come pick up all of their trash that's going to be in my front yard, Caswell's front yard, and on and on and on? Who's going to come pick up their trash out of my yard? Number Is that one. you, Tom? And that's we just, call you that's for that? just one place. Okay, <laughs> and that's just me. That's everywhere. Because they come down here to, to, to fish and to play and to do whatever. So, you're going to have, the Caswells, we're all going to have trash in our front yards. I want to know who's going to pick it up. Second of all, paying the taxes. I don't have a problem paying the tax, which was voted in. For a good service. The problem is, now I don't get the service, but you still get my money. Exactly. Now, exactly. That's my other thing. If you don't want to provide the service, then don't give, don't take my money. And who's going to pick up everybody's trash out of my yard? Okay. I can't. I can't answer that. Uh, How are we going to uh, uh, Okay. 
All right, we, we are. Let me. Uh, we are hearing the message. We know you're upset. We know you're upset with where you know where the green boxes have gone. We know you want them back. Uh, we know you're upset with that whole situation. But it can't take four We can't make a decision. We can't give you an answer tonight. Who makes We're the here. Decision? The the board. The, well, the trust so authority why board. The hell are you the board, not here? The, the board cannot be here without a special here. meeting what being posted. Where's Howard? Didn't have one. Howard. Okay. Well, take oh, the hold Howard. on. He's not the board. Howard. He's one the member board of the board. That everybody in Zena is pissed and we're paying our taxes <laughs> and we want our dumpsters yeah. back. Okay, Howard heard it. I'm sure uh, he's here. Okay, hold on. One more. Do what now? It's a valid issue. Nobody here discounts it. Sure. But that's a law enforcement issue. Exactly. And all that ain't about a dump and the dump truck going to be down on the road. Okay, we hear you. We hear services from illegal issues. Yeah. And, hey, Tom. Does that make sense? Have you guys looked at weighing the cost of paying someone and paying insurance and all that against off-grid monitoring systems? Okay, I have oh, The I technology's think... there. They yeah, use very well, questions i think we've heard we, we know we hear loud and clear what your what your concerns are okay and we're we're very open to that and they will be open to that and they will address that in their board meeting we'll take a few more questions and then we'll hang around okay right here uh, it hadn't been looked at yet no. this, I think heard I, hold, hold on I, it, hey, that's a possibility yes yeah. hold, hold on and let this gentleman speak right equipment. here I go ahead absolutely the question i have is you know, we had fraud take place. The gentleman was sentenced to one year suspended, and we're, he has to pay back 40000 of an estimated 180000 Are we going to take legal action to try to get the remainder of that money back to the taxpayers that are out here? You'd have to ask the DA and the judge on that. Well, can, can we ask do. you as okay. a civil Okay, we had some other questions back here. Well, ask him uh, if Danny he's Duncan. still getting his pension. Hi, yeah, about the South End. Howard? I have a meeting on the South End. I think it'd be a good idea, don't you? I <laughs> still get this pension. You're going to get this bigger crowd and more. Well, and before they before they do anything, uh, I I can't speak for for Kent, but uh, as of right now, there's nothing on schedule for any other uh, movement of Kent. I would like to ask: Is there any? Can I ask a question? Is there anyone here from Southwest City? That was just a wild estimate. Right next to it. There's one right there. Is there anybody here from Oak Hill? Is there anybody here from Oak Hill? Is there anybody here from Lake Uchi area? There's two, four people. These people, the same situation happened in their neighborhood. Again, one of the boxes at Lake Uchi, the gentleman right here, from that box, the convenience center is five and a half miles. From this main intersection up here, we're four and a half miles to one and five to the other. I apologize. To, sir, to answer your question, we would be open to consider anything. I can tell you for a fact that there was electronic monitoring devices within the last month that were placed on this site that were stolen. So that, that electronics right now is not real. That, I'm not saying there's issue. not. That's not your issue. Ab absolutely, but I have to deal with it. Okay. Well, but, oh. You got this lady well, right here. You don't care about don't you have a the Put the I, uh, Let me ask this. Would this help anybody rather than have uh, asked my board to conduct their meeting here? Would this help anybody if we could set up a... Uh, a board member, a special uh, board meeting at the community center in J. And the reason I ask that, because that's the largest building I can think of right now. Uh, well, I, we could go to Grove, but I think everybody that's going to be interested is going to be south of Honey Creek Bridge. I live north of Honey Creek Bridge. Both of us do. Okay. They're very interested. Uh, we had to drive all the way to Oak Chapel to dump our trash. Oh, well, there's and another where, 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 where do you live? <laughs> 690 You're right on the state line out by the liquor store someplace? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Thank you. And you had to drive to Oak Chapel? Yep. Uh, do your hours not let you use the Northeast Convenience Center? No, it's not convenient. No, no, no. It's, it's at the airport. Oak Chapel is about three miles, and that's about Okay. Eight oh, miles. and I wasn't for sure where you are. People believe you, me. We're trying to improve the system, but I can't. No, you're not. No, you're not. Will you at least let me respond? I know there's people in this crowd that I've known for 25, 35 years, and they're going to tell you I'm not a liar. I've been called one tonight several times, but I'm not one. If it doesn't work, again, your electronic idea, absolutely, we'd love to look at anything else. The problem we're trying to stop is the illegal dumping and the littering and make the people that are have been dumping trash for 27 years for free that they were supposed to pay for, make them pay. That's all we're trying to do. We're trying to make it better. How about so okay. 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 Oh, okay. 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 Ok
your delivery you to my charge. Okay, so this lady had a question. I run my own. question and answer speak my line. Come on up here. If we can't hear. Hey, Randy, come on up here. Hey, Randy, come on Hey, Randy, come on up here. Hey, Randy, come on up here. Hey, Randy, Oh, yeah. I just wanted to say, if you do put hey, Howard, the Howard, you here, the song yeah. that was yeah. going to yeah. be like it, what you could have done, trying to get that many plays to probably 15 years. Nobody can even read it. Most people didn't even know Howard. And he talks about how in the other areas, everyone's been very happy because they have convenience centers within five miles. I drive more than here. drove more than five miles to get to the dumpsters. And now I'm driving 20 miles in, and I don't go into girls. No, I hear you. It's just a bad deal. And, that, and, that is my, and that's my whole push to them when they go to the convenience center. I don't have any problem with convenience centers if they're convenient. Uh, if they're convenient in terms of location.